I'm just going to push in the feeder ports. Okay, you just so I heard all of those four ports go in. Now, when you get to the ones that are close to the seam here, it may be harder to go in. Well, it will be harder to go in. And if you can't get it in, you can take off this um, black gasket and then it'll go in. Um, and then in that case, you might wanna just put a little bit of silicone around it or caulking or something. Okay, sometimes you don't hear it click in, but it went in. Okay, I'll do the next one. So this one has four feeder ports, but you could easily stick two more on the back and have six that go all the way around. So here is the finished product. Um, these are very secure. They are not coming out. But if you do want them to come out, let's say you know you forgot to put in the you forgot to put in the gasket or something. If you want them to come out, you can punch them out with your hand. Just bop, you know, really hard or a hammer, they'll come out and they won't break. So um, on the other hand, if you don't want them to come out, don't worry, they will stay in there. Okay, so to train your chickens to use this feeder, um, you fill it up, you stick your hand down into the tube, you get some feed in your hand and just pull it up into the tube. So it's in both the body of the tube and the edge of the tube. You can also put in a little bit of like corn or mealworms or something that they, they really like, scratch, you know, just to kind of get them used to it. Um, and then you don't have to do that anymore. They'll know where to go for food. It does not take a long time for chickens to learn this feeder. So yeah, please like, subscribe. Um, I have so many ideas for raising chickens and I wanna help you raise your chickens for less money and less of your time. We had some chickens, no eggs, but they laid.